Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can generate a menu which is similar to the Civilization VI um, main menu, the one that you can see on the left. So um, yeah, basically you should be able to get something like this by the end of the tutorial. So we have the main menu, the title of the um, game and the menu items. I'm using a similar font, however, the actual menu items look slightly differently than uh, slightly different to what the original game has. Um, but we never want to have a 100% copy. Um, but something that is similar to the original, yet um, something that has its own features, so to speak. So, um, well, yeah, essentially the code is on GitHub and the link is in the description. So I'll just go very quickly through key points um, in the code and that'll be it. Right, so um, we have three classes, title, which is a thing that says civilization. It takes string and then um, puts a space between each character so that the letters are spaced out. We use this particular font, which is part of the resource, um, this tutorial, and we apply drop shadow effect. As for the mini item, which are these, we apply shadow and blur, depending on whether um, we are hovering over an element or not. And when the item is pressed, we set the fill for the background which is a polygon. Um, we set this color, which is um, black with opacity 75%. And um, if it's not pressed, then we set the opacity to 25%. As for the text, we add shadow if we're um, hovering over it. And we also remove the blur. So when we are not hovering, the blur is applied. And when we do hover, shadow is applied. We also have this action, which allows us to set a callback. In the main class, we have menu data, which is a list of pairs. String is the name of the menu item and that lambda is the action to be called currently there's only one action which is platform exit or the menu item exit to desktop we add the background which is just the image view which is that image scale it as we need and then add title which we already saw earlier that we center it. Next thing is to add that line, which is a vertical line, which is also animated. And each of those things um, has a drop shadow effect, so it looks nicer. And we then start the animation, which is a scale animation on the line. So the line starts with scaling equal to zero for the y-axis and just runs to one. Once the animation is finished, we start the translation of each of the menu items. So I'll just rerun this and look at the menu items. We also set the clip to when we add the menu items we set the clip to be a rectangle 
which is offset by 300 pixels, which is the same as the translation value of the menu item. So the menu items are actually to the left of the line when they spawn. The clip is to the right, and that makes a nice effect as if the menu items are being revealed exactly the same amount of pixels as they move over the line. So it's almost like they come out of the line. And that is it. That is the standard primary stage show. So apart from the clip thingy, um, there isn't a lot of things that are difficult to implement, yet we have a very nice animation, which animation and the um, menu, which closely resembles the original. So yeah, just play around with the values, play around with colors, um, add your own animations if you want to, and hook this up with your game and it will be a nice menu and i'm clicking on exit and desktop we exit because of this thing and that's it thanks for watching